getting ready to uh, start painting that larger project and uh, as I promised I would show you um, how things sh came out when I um, actually uh, got the paper treated and the sponge fitted. Um, I only had to cut off this very end of the sponge for it to fit uh, pretty much perfectly. The width did grow this way, but the length did not. So um, it was, I trimmed it off and um, this is what was left. Now when I use the handy palette, it's smaller, um, just under the 8x10 as I indicated in my last video. And um, putting that piece of paper into a 9x13 inch pan uh, glass pipe uh, casserole <clears throat> into the microwave um, isn't that big of a deal. Uh, with this particular piece of paper, I needed to fold it into three ways and put it into the 9 by 13 and that worked out just fine. Um, put it in for about 10 minutes on high in the microwave till the water was to the boiling point. Let it set for a little while and then pulled it out and placed it on um, the sponge after I had wetted it with, uh, I actually used filtered water this time. Sometimes um, things get a little slimy underneath and I have a feeling it has to do with uh, um, bacteria and things like that. But um, it's never caused me a problem. It's just that when you finish a project you want to uh, rinse out your sponge and when you do you can feel sometimes it's slimy so they say not to wring it but I do squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it until it it's no longer slimy um, and uh, has the texture that it had when I first used it so uh, if you go to the trouble of doing that everything should be just fine so um, I'm happy with this uh, I think you know, it's going to take up more room on my um, my table top here. Uh, so I think what I'll do is um, I will use a portion um, of this, let's say this corner here, to put my um, my water uh, bowl, and then I'll have my paint um, around here. Uh, around it on that on the palette itself. I'll uh, have to see how that works and um, I will uh, come back and review that uh, in my next video. Thanks for watching.